Hi, I'm Dennis Gage. Well, this week we're in Abbotsford, British Columbia to visit Don Voth and check out a couple of his hot rod pickups. We're talking a 37 Hudson Terraplane and a 49 GMC. But these aren't just any 37 Hudson Terraplane and 49 GMC. These are both Chip Foos designs, and that makes all the difference. Feast your eyes and focus on the detail. It's got a punch there. <laughs> Chip Foos is a design god. Well, Don, how you doing today, man? Doing good. Beautiful day in BC. Beautiful, sunny, warm, and all that good stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Can't beat it. And a couple actually downright hot pickups here. Both uh, Chip Foos influenced. Very much so. Even more an influence, I guess, yeah. Very much so. Well, let's start with this extremely radical. I, I love these terraplanes, and they are so rare. This is what, a 37 Terraplane, right? 37 Terraplane, and we tried to buy it one year at an auction. We were not successful, so we bought it uh, the next year when mm -hmm. it was a little less. When things looked a little better, right? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> well, had it, I mean, had it already been worked on at that point? Was there it already been, a street rod? There had been some work done, and uh, but the overall structure of it was really appealing to us. And we felt with some refinement, uh, we could make an excellent show winner out of it. Now, I don't, I don't remember, uh, I mean, the Hudsons didn't have this, this ridge on the fenders, did it? No, they didn't. No. So that was added. So and that that was a real part of the refinement was adding the ridge here on the fenders and, as well and as up on here the roof because that was that wasn't there either. No, eh? that's right. Wow. And and you know those are really subtle touches, but man, it it really makes a huge difference in the truck. Very much so. It really lightened it up mm -hmm. and uh, kept the meanness uh, part of it as well. <laughs> lightened it up without making it, you know, unmean. <laughs> <laughs> you got to keep it gnarly. That's well, right. Now, how about the headlight buckets? Are those 37 terraplane? Uh, yes, they are, but they were uh, up here, mounted up much higher beside the grill at the top. Oh, and uh -huh. uh, Chip thought it might be uh, so more appropriate to melt them into the fender and grill idea. Oh, it looks, it looks great. And of course, I mean, the terraplane is really all about this fabulous mm -hmm. grill. Mm -hmm. And is that the original grill or is that a remake? Well, that's the original grill. Grill. I think we, we could have remade it uh, four or five times at the time <laughs> that went into it, but uh, we refinished it and it came out real well. Blue flames, though. Who, do, who does blue flames? This, that just looks great on this truck. Well, that was Chip's idea, and he's uh, a real fan of the uh, real, real fire, mm -hmm. not the fakey, bakey right. fire uh, flames as such. So uh, this was of his making. Wow. And how about the running boards? They're, they're sculpted in. They, they were originally straight, weren't they? They originally were straight, ran from fender to fender, and he sculpted them and uh, put some stainless steel uh, highlight strips into it. Kind of uh, pinches it a little bit at the waist that's there. That's right. Gives it... Oh, and, and of course your cutouts for your exhaust coming through the running board. Yeah, the three-inch exhaust, we had to do something with that, so we decided <laughs> to show it off. Where, where are we going to put that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, and it's, right. and it's cut in so well. And again, I mean, all of Chip's work. I just love his stuff. The interior is, is, is another great example. Chip is very much uh, a, a less is more guy and it's always so clean. Mm -hmm. Interesting gauges. Yeah, the gauges, uh, Classic uh, made up the gauges and put the Foos name in the backdrop to each each gauge. So and it the, came out pretty well. Yeah, and the numbers, they actually float out on the mm -hmm. lens, don't they? Oh, mm -hmm. I love that. Mm -hmm. Boy, and it, you, you got a lot of adjustment on those seats. If you can't find a comfortable position, there's just there's something wrong with it. No, there's lots of buttons. <laughs> wow, and, and now you've also, I mean, the the cab doesn't look, the cab looks longer to me, or what? What's it? Yeah, what happened is the original, the, the box is quite long, the cab is quite short, so the cab was lengthened seven inches, and the box was shortened seven inches to give it the overall length what it in fact was it just, just reproportioned it divvied it up differently yeah. Yeah. love your uh, box back here with flame stitching <laughs> yeah we looked around for a long time until we found someone that could do that but it's quite an undertaking to uh, to, to create a flame with thread yeah and the different uh, color variations etc that's very cool I, I love it and you've obviously done some tubbing work here yeah we had uh, the idea that uh, true to the character of the truck that we do go with the uh, Mickey Thompson SRTs, got an 18 inch tread, which meant tubbing some of the um, pickup bed itself. Now I see a, you know, a, a little blower peeking out under there, you got this savage uh, rear end, these, these huge tires, you must have something matched under the hood. Yeah, we had to uh, pay homage to the truck and what it's all about and we decided to uh, put in a 900 horsepower to kind of back it up. <laughs> Let's go look at that. <laughs> My so what we got, Dennis, is we got a 454 
Nice big thick walls for all the air that that blower provides. We've got about 13 and a half pounds of air coming through that blower. It's a Hampton 871 and uh, two 750 CFM Hollies. Man, well, you know, I'm really surprised actually how big it is because you just got the blower peeking out. You've really got mm -hmm. that baby buried down in the engine bay. Yeah, we worked out the whole profile of it that that uh, scoop didn't get too carried away on us, and so we just had a just peek above the hood itself. It is a truck that, it's not just a show pony, uh, it, 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 you can actually drive this. It's a driver, well not a driver, but it is drivable, right? Yeah, very much so. Uh, my wife doesn't pick up the groceries with it, but <laughs> Fine. I drive it on the weekends and it's great. Uh, you suppose uh, we could take it out today and maybe I could even take yeah, a little time behind the wheel? What do you think? I think we could arrange you, for that. You, yeah. you, know, you know the guy that I owns it? I know the guy that owns it, yeah. <laughs> well, close it up, let's take this baby out. All right. So, gas down halfway. You bet. Ooh, here a fuel pump, that's a good yep. sign. Oh yeah, <laughs> here we go. 900 horse, but I like the fact that you've got a, a real uh, usable cam in it. I mean, it's not wolf, yeah. wolf, wolf. Well, we tried to make it streetable, yeah. they can actually see over the blower. Mm -hmm. So many times you get these crazy blowers out there. I was just right in your line of vision, yeah. Ooh. You can get in trouble with this. <laughs> you definitely get in trouble. <laughs> well, we've had a few runs with it, and actually, uh, with the way the rear suspension is set up with the rubber, it really pretty much straight line, you know, it's no really behaves itself. Is this a, you know, when you take this someplace, is it a complete showstopper? You know, it is a showstopper wherever you go. Nobody knows what it is. One thing for sure, when you've got a 37 Terraplane, you're the only kid on the block that's right. got one. That's right. <laughs> Well, that was a wild ride. <laughs> Very enjoyable. Very, Very enjoyable. enjoyable. 900 horsepower, you got it. You got to love that. You know, a, a 37 Terraplane. But now here's another hot rod pickup. Very nice, more understated. 49 GMC, right? That's correct. Now, this is one that uh, is also Chip Foose influenced, but it's another one that you bought as a as a rodded truck and then re-rodded it, right? Yeah, we reworked it. We felt it was a bit heavy on the front end. The mm -hmm. truck is is originally kind of heavy and the hood sits up quite high and so his idea was to create a rake on the truck and to lighten up the front end considerably and uh, in so doing we ended up pancaking the hood just about two inches wow. and reworking the grill work there bringing the 49 GMC uh, grill back uh, into the car, to the truck itself and it turned out uh, much lighter in look. Now how about, I don't remember the GMC having this crease in the hood though. No, or... uh, no he added the crease in the hood to give it a bit of profile yeah. through the windshield and up into the roof. And it almost, you know, it almost fades as it goes to the hood and then picks back up on the roof. It does. Just, just gorgeous. And it's a, I mean, I love the color combination, you know, certainly black on top. And then a deep candy red, right? That's and, correct. And a three-tone pinstripe. Yeah, he talked about that. He had us a bit worried about that, to be honest with you. <laughs> but it turned out really well, including really, that bright green pinstripe. Yeah, it's just, it's fantastic. Because it's like really, 
two different shades of orange and a green there. That's almost. right. Man, but the interior is nice. And this one, like you say, this was one you built to use and you do use it, right? I mean, yeah, you we literally do. do get the groceries in this. We do on Saturdays, we wow. do. Wow, I love that. Interesting gauge choice. What's, what is that? Yeah, it's of all things out of a 79 Camaro, if you can believe no, that. You know, but I like that. It, mm -hmm. it, uh, you know, everybody's got some set of, you know, trick mm -hmm. aftermarket gauges. This, this makes it, gives it a very factory look mm -hmm. and one that's hard to pinpoint. Se yeah. 79 Camaro. Camaro. Wow. Yeah. Unbelievable. Now, you got a, a chop on this too? She's yeah, about a three inch top. And was that done or did you have to redo that? No, that was done. Wow, you you actually settled for somebody else's chop. I can't yeah. believe it. Look good. <laughs> Don, you're getting soft in your old age. <laughs> <laughs> but here, uh, a lot of neat things back here. I like the, I just noticed this, the sculpting in uh, on the box there. Yeah, this bed is a real piece of work. It's uh, sculpted and contoured with uh -huh. the back of the cab and it just came off very well instead of squaring everything off he mm. went with a flow that was there beautiful and then of course you know that, that sculpting there picks up the roundedness mm -hmm. of the side here and then this side rail this kind of chip foo side rail that wraps around is, is is fabulous but what an interesting orientation here what's the yeah it's a bit unique we uh we <laughs> grow sweet bell peppers which are red yellow orange and uh, we pile them up for parades and we have our grandchildren sitting in the seats and they throw out to the crowd and uh, it works out very well. Gotta be a hit, right? It is. Yeah. <laughs> and the kids gotta love it too. They love it, yeah. Wow, Greenhouse Delight? Uh, Greenhouse Delight is our uh, greenhouse uh, company that markets the peppers and Chip's idea was he wanted to create a new logo for us, which, which we did, and that's what it is. And he wanted to do a, um, a kind of an original art uh, painting on it, and that's really what it is. It's not clear coated or anything. It's just hand painted on the back of the tailgate. Brush strokes and all. Brush strokes and all. Old school. You bet. By chip. By chip. How cool is that? <laughs> now you built this baby uh, to drive and to be dependable. I think you you didn't go 900 horse Merlin. Uh, what'd you put in this one? No, we went much more conservative, and we put a Corvette LS1 mm -hmm. uh, engine in it. Ran runs real great and uh, always reliable, so it uh, looks after us when we want to go somewhere. And you did the reverse opening yes. put on it? Man, that's, I mean, this is just, I mean, anybody could drive this. Including my wife. <laughs> well, then I bet I could too. You could too. <laughs> so I didn't break that one. What do you say we take this one out so for a little spin? We'll do the same. All right, let's go. You bet. Any trick to this, Don? Nope, just go for it. I didn't think it was an LS1. <laughs> Pretty close. <laughs> and we're rolling. I can hear myself think in this oh, one. That's right, this one is an easy drive. <laughs> this is very civilized. You could definitely just you know, very cruise around town with this. Yeah. And not draw a lot of attention except for the looks. Well, you still get a lot of attention out of this. Thing. Well, it's the looks that do it. But yeah. with, the, with, the, uh, with the terraplane, it's the looks and the sound. Yeah. I mean, that yeah. sound is, you hear yeah. it coming. Yeah, this one more is about the paint. Mm -hmm. and, and just the profile of the truck has been altered significantly, so they're asking questions. But bringing that whole front end down was was always the question. How'd you do that? Yeah, and well, Pancake it gives, the hood, what do you mean by that? Yeah, and it, and it gives it that rounded, that, that rounded mm -hmm. nose look even yeah. more. It accentuates yeah. it. You know, it's very important to have your wife as part of your hobby, right? Uh, you know, you're kind of in trouble if you don't have her as part of the hobby. You can practice it longer and spend more money yeah. on it if you do. Yeah, exactly. that's definitely true. This truck kind of melted our parts a little bit. We were born, both born in 49, uh -huh. and then she saw it, 49 GMC. Oh, this could be a pepper truck. That's what we do at the farm. It was kind of a no-brainer just about. It was meant to be. Meant to be. It was meant to be. It's got a very light feel to it. Mm -hmm. Handles real nice. Yeah. I'm taking this. Now, where did this live before it came up here? Uh, Utah. Utah. Yeah. It's all white interior. Wow. Mm. <laughs> Not sure how I feel about wow. that. 
for everybody, everybody to their own taste, I guess. But uh, <laughs> we knew we wanted to change it. So, and after I talked to Chip, who came to the auction, he says, "No, we can change that." And it uh, it just felt right. It is, it is a truck that feels right. Yeah. You're right. It so works. Yeah. It oh, just yeah. so works. Works well. Chip Foose <laughs> rules. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, a bright sunny day in British Columbia and two Chip Foose designed hot rod pickup trucks. I'm having a blast. But Don here's got what? Six more Foose cars, right? That's right. Six more Foose cars. I'm definitely coming back north. Check those babies out too.